What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel, The Auto Shop Life. Hanging out with me, Jim, JRC54. So, gotta give you guys a quick tool haul. Uh, didn't get anything, haven't got much from Snap-on this year yet so far, uh, but I did pick up a couple through Cornwell. Just wanted to uh, show you guys, talk about some sockets, picked up some magnetic sockets. Are they worth purchasing? Check it out. Shut up and sit down. So getting into it, magnetic sockets, you know, are they worth picking up, you know, are they worth adding to the toolbox, things like that. You know, I definitely find myself, you know, needing a magnetic socket, you know, especially doing dash work or when you got a real long extension, you know, and you're trying to put the fastener on there and kind of get it away from you without it falling out. You know, there are some tricks you can do, obviously using a piece of tape or, you know, a piece of tissue paper in between the fastener and the socket that does hold it in there. But, you know, that always doesn't work. And then obviously when you go to pull it out, sometimes the piece of tape stuck on the fastener or the tissue may get into an area you don't want it in and all that stuff. So I've been looking at the Cornwell magnetic sockets. Obviously, you only need them in uh, quarter inch, at least that's all, all I'd really need them for. You know, it's just a smaller intricate dash work or a magnetic socket to at least get a fastener started. And then, you know, you could just use a regular 3 8 or another drive size if you needed to. Um, pros and cons to them, you know, they are great. Uh, the ones I picked up through Cornwell, show you guys the part numbers and, you know, kind of what they're all about in a minute. You know, what you kind of got to worry about, you know, it's got a really strong magnet on it. So if you're dropping it down into a hole or somewhere you can't get to, obviously you pull off the extension and that socket may stay on the fastener. So, so you know, you got to be able to retrieve the socket and all that stuff. As they wear down, obviously you'll have less of a problem, but, you know, I noticed on these, the magnetic's super strong. You know, it definitely gets the job done. Definitely like a, I also picked up a uh, Milwaukee tool, uh, actually a light. It's a, it's a stand-up. They call it a, a, a dual rocket light. Uh, picked that up a few weeks ago, but check these out. All right, guys, so getting down here in the workstation, you can see here are the sockets from Cornwell. I picked up the, uh, the deeps and shallow. Here's the boxes they come in. Here's the part number on that one for the shorts. 12 piece set. Like I said, this is in quarter inch drive metric. And then here's the deep magnetic. These ones are spring loaded. I'll show you kind of what that, uh, you know, what that means, what they're talking about. Comes with the blow molded case and all that stuff. Their part number on that one. I'll leave the part number links in the description, but that's pretty much the boxes. <clears throat> Short and deep blow molded case, pretty much 12 pieces. These sockets are impact rated. Um, you know, they do have the five, five, you know, five to five, five, five and a half, no skips in between, pretty much five to uh, 15 in both sets. So pull out the 13 millimeter, you can see the magnetic inside them. They all got magnets in them. The 15 a little bit wider, you can see super strong magnets. Now I got a couple uh, fasteners here, but you can see, I mean, it pretty much grabs it. And you know, if your extension isn't strong enough, so like I was saying, as you guys can see, it's a super strong magnet, you know, pretty much, gets it right in there and what I mean by you know not being able to retrieve the socket if you're putting it down into a, you know like a, a deep maybe a spark plug channel per se you know not necessarily a spark plug but you know a deeper channel where you would need the magnetic to come in the magnet to come into play where you're getting in there and it doesn't fall off the fastener doesn't fall off but say you got the extension on there and you go to start it and you go to pull off the socket you know if your extension isn't good enough or you're not using a locking extension obviously the socket's gonna stay so you know make sure you use these things with locking extensions or what have you but you know a normal wobble extension or even a worn out extension probably not gonna cut it because you know I'm barely pulling on that and only the extensions coming up but definitely a strong magnet I could definitely find uses for this especially uh, especially lately with the Civic build getting some of those smaller bolts out and uh, dealing with some of the engine bolts and all that stuff uh, another trick too, obviously, here's just a regular socket. You can see you put it in there, there's no magnetic in there. You know, trying to fish that in through a hole falls right out. Little tip, like I said, you could use tape or, uh, you know, a piece of tissue paper. Obviously, just rip a piece of tissue off and then, you know, you could kind of pop it in like that. 
But then you gotta think when you go to pull it off, sometimes the tissue stays on the fastener. So you gotta pick the tissue out or leave the piece of tissue or tape or whatever you're using to keep the socket on there. You know, especially if you got a worn out socket, you know, they ain't going anywhere. These, these definitely uh, shine, definitely worth picking up, I'd say, especially if you're doing smaller dash work. You know, my opinion, it's not like you need magnetic sockets in every drive. Maybe a swivel set magnetic socket, only in quarter inch. I, I'm not gonna see myself needing it in a three eighths or anything like that. This is actually my first set of magnetic sockets that I've ever gotten. And then getting over to the deeps here, same set, same 12 pieces, got the five, five and a half, all the way to 15. Um, these ones are spring loaded. And uh, you know what I mean by that is obviously the little magnet inside there is on a spring. You guys could see that. You could push it down. And what that's for obviously is when you're using it, let's grab a, uh, let's grab a 12 here. But when you're using it on fasteners like that where you know, you're putting a nut on and things like that, you could kind of push past it to where you're able to do it. Now it's not gonna be able to push all the way through, but you know, at least about that deep, that way you could kind of get on it and, and spin it, you know, so it's spring loaded and it still holds it. That way when you go to turn it out, when you start to turn it out of there, it'll grab a hold of the nut and keep the nut with the socket. You can see as I pulled off, it kept the nut on there. But definitely a cool, cool design. I've seen ones that weren't spring loaded. These definitely work out great, especially when you're using it for the nuts. You know, not just for a fastener on there, but one, you can see just a 10. Obviously one that doesn't pass through here. Just pop on there. That one's kind of spring loaded too. So if you have one with a deeper head on there or whatever, or a more shallow head, it's still gonna grab it. And then you can see kind of the spring loaded action on there. Definitely a cool concept. I uh, definitely gonna be using these. These are gonna be my go-to quarter inch, especially for those jobs where, you know, I need the fastener to stay on there. Worth picking up. Got it for Cornwell, got it through a deal. It's in the uh, magazine for January. So I figured I'd pick it up. Haven't grabbed any off of Cornwell in a few weeks. So one for you guys to look into. You guys got Cornwell reps. Like I said, I'll leave uh, part numbers to these down in the description. All right, guys. So talking about the Milwaukee pickup, did pick this up through Cornwell. They call it the, uh, the Rocket Dual Power Tower Light. How it's shaped, it's kind of big, got a good size to it. Definitely, definitely got some weight to it too. It is, uh, it is M12, you can see the battery right there. You can pop the M12, you know, the two amp, the four amp, the six, you know, it pretty much gives you enough room to still have it on the ground and have the battery up on the top there. But you pretty much have uh, two little tabs here. You pretty much hit these two tabs and the feet come out for the base, so you can have it stand. Let me set the camera here, show you guys. Kind of set it up on the floor. You know, if you're not using hood lights or, you know, obviously use this for filming and things like that, but it's been great around the shop. And then it's also got two settings here. You got setting one, and this articulates. You can turn it, face it up, and then it's got even higher than that. I noticed, I noticed with these, you gotta kinda really tug on them to get them to lock into place. But uh, you know, once you do, you pretty much have two settings. You got all the way up like that. That's pretty much all the way up. I'd say that's probably maybe five, five and a half feet or something like that. And then you, like I said, this thing spins, you can articulate it. This thing does throw a good amount of lumens. It's got two settings. It's got an M12 battery, pop it down in there. that and then they got the switch on the side here obviously with the fuel gauge you can see the fuel gauge there but it does have two settings you can see first setting there click it again it dims it down click it again it turns it off so as you like I said you can have it on if you want it down a little bit pretty much just hold the base of it get it down to the next one that way you can kind of angle your light and all that stuff and then it also has one pretty much all the way down you can kind of set it like that, where it's all the way down, but then you gotta have it kind of angled here to where it holds itself up. Because if you turn it, you can see when it's all the way in the base, it pretty much protects the light. You can see you turn it all the way down, the light's down in the facing down in there, so it's got the light protected. You can see you turn it on inside there. 
But definitely a cool light. I've been finding uh, some good uses for this. You know, even, even in the darker areas of the shop, using a hood light sometimes isn't enough. But pop this little bad boy up, you know, off to the side, you know, maybe the side of the car, side of the fender, or behind me. That way it throws the light all in the car and it's not overpowering or blinding me. I don't have to stare at it or carry it around. I noticed the battery does last a decent amount of time on the 4 amp hour, but not a big deal because this thing also has a plug to where you can plug it into the wall. So you can hook it up to, uh, you know, put, run a little extension cord, hook it up to the wall, don't even need a battery, and then just run this thing all day. But definitely found some good uses for it. Use this thing for filming, maybe better lighting. I got pretty decent lighting in the shop here, so nothing for me to worry about, but doing those darker builds or something, or uh, you know, getting in the corners, popping this thing on here, throwing some light on some jobs. Definitely one worth checking out. So part number on this one is 2132-20. I will leave the part number to this one or a link to this one down in the description. If you guys want to check it out. All right, so wrapping this one out, quick tool haul from Corwell this week. Uh, like I said, the, the light I've had. I've had light for a few weeks now. Definitely been great, but these magnetic sockets, I've been checking them out. I've been looking where I'm going to get them. You know, ever since I pretty much did the socket drawer, I've been wanting to pick up a set of quarter-inch magnetic sockets. These ones seem pretty nice. Definitely caught them on a deal right at the right time. You know, I could find multiple uses that I need those things for. Using the little tissue paper or tape or whatever, like I said, you know, it works good. It gets it done, but, you know, having a nice strong magnetic socket for those smaller fasteners or dash work especially, I could find a whole lot of uses for them. Definitely worth picking up a set of them if you guys ain't got them. Check them out. They don't have to be Cornwell. I know other brands make them. Gray Pneumatic, I think, makes them. There's a few other ones out there. I'll try to leave links to a couple more down in the description for these. They do make them in standard and metric, all that stuff. I do believe they make a universal magnetic socket, you know, a swivel magnetic socket. I can't wait to use them. I can't wait to use them. That is a newer pickup, but the light I did have. So wrapping this one out, guys. You guys wondering about the Civic build? I've been busy. Waiting on parts for it. I had a couple uh, parts take a while to get here, so haven't been really to get too much done on it. Definitely got the motor broken down, getting ready to pull the pistons. Do a video on that one, show you guys how to clock the piston rings and all that good stuff. Torque, got the H, uh, got the H beam rods, forge rods, and all that stuff. If you guys want to check it out? Make sure you follow the channel, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.